That is footage of the Boston Marathon bombings, a United States tragedy that happened on April 15, 2013. The bombings were the work of these two brothers, Tamerlan and Zokar Sarnayev. These two young men filled two pressure cookers with explosives, nails, and ball bearings, and set them off 12 seconds apart near the finish line of the marathon. The bombs exploded at 2.30 p.m., creating chaos throughout downtown Boston. The blasts injured hundreds and killed three, including an eight-year-old boy. Emergency crews rushed victims to local hospitals, and 15 blocks of downtown Boston turned into a crime scene for federal investigators. This is Mark Fucaril. Before the bombings, Fucaril was a 34-year-old roofer with a five-year-old son, Gavin, and a fiancé, Jennifer Reagan. He was an average working-class man in the Boston area. On the day of the bombing, Fucaril was standing with a group of friends near the finish line. He was caught in the second explosion. As he says, I felt no pain, but I knew my leg was gone. A police officer loaded him into a police van and rushed him to Massachusetts General Hospital. Fucaril lost his right leg above the knee, broke his spine, and several bones in his left leg and foot, ruptured both eardrums, and suffered serious burns and shrapnel wounds. Fucaril spent 45 days at Mass General undergoing many of what would become 49 surgical procedures. He was then moved to Spalding Rehabilitation Hospital for more surgeries and tough physical therapy. He left the hospital 100 days after the bombing, the last survivor to leave a hospital. After leaving, he was fitted with a prosthetic leg. Fucaril bounced back from this tragedy to lead a happy life. He married his fiancée at the Red Sox Fenway Park on April 17, 2014, and threw out the first pitch at a game on April 21st. His life with his wife and son has moved on, thanks to the generous help of many donors. When asked about how he feels regarding the bombing suspect, Fucaril said, I'm upset that he took some of my son's innocence. I'm mad because he killed a little kid. Despite this tra tragedy, Mark Fucaril has overcome the darkness to be a true survivor, and this shows the power of a community to be strong and support each other. Any questions?